ان الحمد لله والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله وعلى اله وصحبه ومن والاه ومن تبعهم باحسان الى يوم الدين اما بعد Assalamu alaikum everyone, dear brothers and sisters. I'm doing this recording to uh, tell you about the project that we did in our city. And um, alhamdulillah, it's been a success. And I'm hoping that um, that you can start something similar in your city or benefit at least from our experience. Now what we did was we wanted a project that will go across mosques um, in, in our cities in our city and uh, to do this we we thought about something like uh, cleaning the carpets yes like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to to Ibrahim and Ismail alayhi salam peace be upon them in Surah Al-Baqarah wa tahira bayti purify my house so we thought in the following their footsteps and to actually clean the carpets of the masajid before uh, Ramadan um, to do this, we wanted to rent a machine. Um, we, after some research, we found that the machine we wanted was not available for at least a month, so that um, that wasn't suitable for us uh, because that would be right in the middle of the month, in the, right in the middle of Ramadan. And um, so, someone suggested, "Look, why, why guys, why don't you guys buy a machine?" So, so we looked around and we found a professional machine that does 100 square meters per hour so if you if you if you're looking into a machine i would suggest something like this 100 square meters per hour and something with a brush underneath um that will that will like, that will get the dirt out of the carpet um, <clears throat> so I've, I've attached a word document with this um with this recording um, this will give you some more technical details about the choices that we made, um, some of the some of the other options that we considered and rejected, and actually one option that we actually forgot to even consider. So you can probably consider in your in your area. Uh, so the idea is we buy a machine, uh, we bought the machine as wakaf. And uh, so what it means is this machine has only one sole purpose, and this is to to benefit the houses of Allah uh, and nothing else. There is no other use permitted whatsoever. Um, and, and some people suggested later on, look, why don't you rent the machine out or use the machine in a commercial enterprise and get some money and give it back to the mosques. But... Ultimately, because the way of we, the way we collected the money, the way the premise that it was going to be for wakf, we could not change the intention later on. There was too many people who donated money for the machine, uh, so we chose the easy route of saying, "Look, you know, it's like this machine is only for one purpose and one purpose only, and this is it." So, alhamdulillah, we managed to actually collect all all the money that we needed and more. Um, we needed about 1,600 pounds. We ended up collecting uh, 2,200 pounds. Uh, for those in the states, 16, um, 1,600 pounds will be about 2,500, 2,600 dollars. Um, and the rest of the money, again, um, when you're collecting money, make sure that the donors know exactly what you're going to be using the money for. So one part of it, we said, look, this, this part is going to be for the machine, and the rest of it is going to be for... Um, any extra money we're going to split it between two mosques and people were happy with that and if you if you set it from the start if you're very clear about what you want to do if you're clear about your intention Allah will put barak in it um, don't change your mind halfway through um, just you know, like have a clear plan and stick to it that's, that's what I would suggest um, so we bought the machines, um, we went around and we started cleaning the mosque and the response was, mashallah, very, very, very positive from, from everyone involved. Um, people were coming up and saying, look, we want to help, we want to do this, we either want to give money or we want to, you know, it's like we don't have the money, um, we want to clean the houses of Allah, you know, it's like we have the muscles. So I usually tell people, you either have money or muscles, you know, it's like I want your money and your muscles, give me whatever you have. So that's that's how we went. Um, we'd go two, three, four, five, whatever, whatever people that we have at the time. We'll go to a masjid. We'll dust it down. We'll um, 
we'll, we'll, we'll clean up the carpet, just like all the bits that usually get cleaned uh, or doesn't get cleaned or whatever, just like this, just do that. Um, so this is a project that goes across across mosques, not just just like, oh, I'm, I'm bound to a particular mosque, I'm um, just like, this is my mosque, I don't look at any other mosques, that kind of thing. No, it's like it gives it gives the community an ownership of their of their mosque. So uh, people who attend the mosque, you, you just go and say, look, we're gonna we're gonna be cleaning the mosque on this day. Can you please turn up? Please help us out, etc., etc. Sometimes you get one or two people, but subhanallah, sometimes one or two people will give you amazing, amazing results. Allah will put so much work in, in the in the work that um, and in the work that that's being done. So a huge mosque would take something like four hours. It, 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 you know, it's like with two or three people. You'd be, you'd be amazed at the results. You'd be amazed at the results. So again, um, this should be done on a city or a district level rather than a mosque level. Um, so you just buy the machine, you run the machine, you, you find what's, whatever is, is most suitable for your area. Um, and you just go around. Um, we found that we started the, the whole thing started from Let's rent a machine. When we went to rent the machine, we found out that the machine was um, um, renting it for a weekend was the same price as renting it for a whole week. Um, in the end, obviously, we didn't we couldn't get the machine that we wanted anyway, um, so we ended up buying it. But um, regardless, um, you know, you might you might find that that's that's perfectly suitable for you. Okay, well, you know, it's like go ahead, just do it. Um, and um, just one more thing uh, regarding the machine. Um, just just go for something that is that is heavy duty. That's that's all I'm going to suggest. You know, there's there's going to be a lot of cutting and running around and emptying the machine and filling it up and etc. So you want you want something bigger rather than the small domestic stuff. Um, I don't think they're just going to survive to be honest. But um, again, your mileage may vary. You know, try try whatever. Um, and um, if you have any feedback, if you if you um, if you have better experience, worse experience, whatever, um, let us know. We can all learn from each other. Um, and um, I've also put some technical details, stuff that you need to buy, buckets, extension leads, that kind of stuff, RCD units. Uh, RCD unit is one of the most important things, to be honest. Um, it's, um, it's a protector, so if the machine goes wrong in any way, you're mixing water with electricity, so this thing will actually save your life, so buy it. You know, the first thing you need to buy is this thing. Um, um, you also need some something like a decorator or a putty knife. Um, this the, the machine gets filled up with fluff uh, from the carpet. It's just normal. Some um, some carpet will give out more fluff than others. Um, again, you can actually it's easier to to push the fluff into the machine rather than take it out. So um, you can use one of these things to to just push it in while the while the machine is running. So it, it, you can clean cleans itself. Um, again, um, this is one way of of helping cementing the community ties. Um, people take more ownership when they clean their own mosques. They will they will look after it better. They uh, it's, from becoming users to owners of the massage. Um, so I hope this will benefit um, someone somewhere. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, my email address is at the bottom, so um, you're welcome to ask any questions. And Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.